see all this at uh, the skin. The one that they use for the mat. Okay, see how they stretched it. And uh, over this side, a lot of cows over here. So this is what they use for the cow skin and the mats that the imams and the malams use. I'm working here for 24 uh, years. We've we, been we, we doing it for 24 years. Oh yes, not this job, but I'm a slaughterman. You're a slaughterman, okay, yeah, okay. Slaughter. You've you been doing this for a long time? Yeah. How many years now? Three years now. Three years now, wow. This job. The, the heat is too much also. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Wow. So where are you from? I'm a Sierra Leonean. I'm from Sierra Leone, okay. Yeah. So he's from Sierra Leone and uh, as he's saying, since he can't do bad things over here in Gambia, he has to do something to feed himself and the family. That's why he's doing this job. But then it's, it's worth it. Like as the, as the quote says, yeah. if you don't work, you never eat. So before the video starts, let me say this. The environment or the surroundings doesn't look appealing. And it's the same elsewhere or anywhere they make cow kanda or cow skin. So if you are someone who has no idea about how cow skin or cow kanda is processed, you might find this video shocking or the things being done in the video shocking. But then, it is what it is. What you mostly look after is having the final product at the market. So there are lots of food at the marketplace that we buy and consume, but most of us have no idea about how they were produced or processed. That is why I, Sindako, I go to the deep places to bring you all this insight about our food, especially the authentic ones. So if you are new to my channel, if not witnessed all these amazing videos, you can watch how they process or they produce coconut oil, red oil, black soup, palm kernel oil, palm wine alcohol which is the local gin 70 percent alcohol you can also watch the amazing way our fishermen goes to the sea and fish the life of the farmers how they make sweated fish how they make eating well bow and many more all on this channel cooking with sindaku so today i'm in gambia the smiling coast of africa and i'm in a place called abuko over here they process wole or pamo or cow kanda as the muslims would call it or you can also call it cow skin and this cow skin is one of the main key ingredients we have our west african recipes okay, so i hope you enjoyed the video if this is the first time watching can you share subscribe tell a friend tell a brother who can we see in the call or call you, let's do this after the cow is being slaughtered they dry the first dry the, the skin okay before it goes on um, on the fire before the boil. So let's go through the process and I'll let you know. So this is the, the drying process of of it. Okay, the one is fresh, it's it's more like this. When the skin is taking off, it's more like this. Man, they just leave it on the floor like that. Wow. But anyway, since it will go on fire, you don't see it to be anything off. Because these are all here to eat meat. They boil it, they boil it, they boil wash it, 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 wash it, soup it right until the morning. They take it to the market. market. Okay, so okay, after this is too much. It's too, so after 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 washing, they, they soak it again. Yes. To make it soft. Yes. Oh, okay. See. So for how, for how long will this not be on fire? It, it, it depends on the fire. The fire. It depends on the fire. Yeah. Wow, so this is fresh, as you can see, it's still still not burning. I think they just they just place on it. So this is the process of making of making wool. Okay. So they burn the skin like this. After it dry, the temperature over here is it's too much. Can't go there near that much. I'll go manage. I'll wow. go manage. Yeah? Okay. So how how long will it be on fire? How long? How, how many minutes? How many hours? Depends. Depends. Yeah. Uh, so you, okay. Depends. Depends. You been this for a long time? Yeah. How many years now? Three years now. Three years now. Wow. This job. The, the heat is too much also. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Wow. After they've burnt the, the, the skin, it comes to the boiling. Okay, so they first dry it, they burn it, and it comes to the boiling. So I think the boiling, that's why it makes it expand. Okay, so this on fire. Hello. This on fire. And they boil it. Wow. So this is the process of making cow, cow, cow skin. Uh, cow kanda. So uh, how long you been on fire? For a long time? Long time. Long time? Yeah. Long time, maybe take four hours. Four hours? Yeah. Well, because I have to soft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if it doesn't if it doesn't stay on long, that's when it becomes hard. Yeah. Okay, okay, I understand. And what is this black one? What is that? Black one? Yeah, yeah, what is it? No, what? it's not black one. It's, it's water? Yeah. It's water? Yes, normal water? Yeah. It's normal water and this water is the wash cow kanda. Ah, the wash cow kanda. Oh, okay. So after boiling, after four hours of boiling, that's when it goes or they do the cleaning of uh the cow kanda okay so 
takes time before the whole thing gets ready. Okay, it takes time the whole thing gets ready. So this one is being washed already. And as you can see, we have our ule or cow candle like this. Okay, so the ule that I've been seen at the marketplace, the cow candle you've seen at the marketplace, the pomo that you've seen at the marketplace, this is the process or the steps that passes through. It's not easy, it's really not easy. The temperature of everything. And uh, so, these are also burnt one. I believe they're going to boil it. Okay, and because of because of this, a lot of creatures around these vultures. Okay, so it's like group group. Someone is doing this over there. Someone is doing it over there. Here too, there's this group. So that probably that one comes with here. And uh, yeah, yeah, amazing. So see the way he's folding it. Man, this is a long process job. A long process. So how long have you been doing this? For me? Yeah, for how long have you been doing this job? Well, about a year ago now. Ah, just a year ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Is it, is it worth it? Like, do you gain the, this money inside? Yes. There's money inside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know that you're foreign now. Yeah? Yeah. As a foreign. You have to attach yourself to it. You have to go and do bad. Yeah, you do something, exactly. You get something to survive. Exactly. Okay. 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 Yeah, let's look at that. So, uh, uh, how long did they dry it before it came on the fire? Dry it? Uh, no, because whenever they, they kill the they, 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 they used to have, used to have water. Water, okay. So we put it on the sand. For how many days? No, not days. Uh, hours? Yes, uh, for hours or for minutes. minutes. Oh, okay, before it comes, yeah, okay. It starts. Because I have to go to the bush and find firewood. Well, exactly, okay, exactly. okay. Exactly. okay. Wow. So, I think these are the workers. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> you are fine. You're from Sierra Leone? Or, uh, Sierra Leone. You're from Sierra, Sierra Leone, okay. Yeah. Ah, Sierra Leone also. Oh, okay. I'll be going there very soon as well. Okay. We try those cassava, cassava stew. Okay. <laughs> so, so, what do you do over here? We, we are the one who comes. Uh, the boiling. Yeah. Ah, you sell it yeah. at the market. Yeah. Ah, so you're coming for the, for the main price over here. Like, you want it uh, wholesale. What do you say? We already buy it. After we buy it, then burn it. Okay, okay you, you buy it, then you burn it, then you go and sell. Okay, uh, burn it after you it. So basically, they will buy the fresh meat or the fresh skin from the butchers, okay? And they will pay the burners or those guys who burn the meat or the skin. And after burning, then they will, the ladies will go and boil the cow skin and, uh, and also do the cleaning before it gets to the market. So she's making sure that all the things, the dead, the black spots are gone. You see how she's by certain opening and cleaning it with a metal sponge making sure that everything is neat sometimes you go to the market you see some wule uh, fish uh, cow and it's nicely done nicely washed this is the process it goes through it's really not easy it's not easy it's not easy big up to these ladies over here doing this amazing job at the market so this is the ready one so she's soaking it so how long will you soak it this one Tomorrow. tomorrow so 24 hours if you soak 24 hours and you go to market so that it is soft so if you buy wool or cow panda and there's black black inside meaning they didn't clean too well right <laughs> that's really didn't clean it well <laughs> wow. because if we don't clean it well even ourselves we used to eat it They're like that so okay but, but the black black is just the smoke yes it's just the smoke yeah. Yeah, okay. you know even when you are cooking on fire yeah the, the pots will the pot be black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's normal. It's just like the one. Okay, okay. okay. Ah, so this is your business right now. Yeah. Okay, so you do you sell at the market? Yes. Uh, and uh, which market? Serikunda. Serikunda. Okay. So basically, this kind of business going on over here in Abuko in Gambia. It's a very huge place. They they sell goods, everything, chicken, just name it. Okay. They they sell all these kind of animals over here. It's a very big and huge land. And also, we have some of the skin that's being used as a mat. The one that the imams and the malam used to sit at the mosque and other places. They have some that they dry to that hard that they use for the mat and other stuff. They also have the horns, okay, the, 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 the horn of the cow. They also use it for different stuff. I don't know what exactly they use by then. But they have some packed in the sack and I believe it's for some kind of special delivery or special reason or special purpose. Okay, so those who have an idea of what they use the horn for will understand why the horn is being kept or separated 
uh, inside the, the sack. So basically, this is how cow kanda, cow skin, wule or komo is being processed over here in Gambia, Abuko. And as I said earlier, it's the same process that any other country that process cow kanda or cow skin, they do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is first time watching, can you share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a brother. See you on the next one. Gambia Diaries or Kodo.